Well, hello there, and good evening, everybody. I'm uh, William Brantley from the North Jackson, Tennessee area, uh, near West Town Cummins Shopping Center on uh, Walker Road, about a mile north of Union University. I'm ready to report to you today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days shortly. Uh, it's not a whole lot to talk about tonight. The weather is beautiful. We had a fantastic Saturday. We're going to have a fantastic Sunday, Monday, um, Tuesday, and possibly even Wednesday. <laughs> How about that? Um, and so forth. Uh, I'm going to go into a few details. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be doing that on, on the video. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you a few of the, uh, tell you what, let me go on to the radar and let you see how beautiful it is. Then I'll share with you the uh, climate stats. All right. Now this radar is courtesy of AccuWeather, uh, which, uh, which you see now. I've got it set on a on a far distant uh, uh, radius. I, you can kind of see it. It's not, let's see if I can get it just a hair planer. There's really nothing on it at the moment. But as you can see, our skies are clear all around us, statewide. The only storms that's on the radar showing up is way down around Atlanta, Georgia, on the east side of Atlanta, Georgia. And um, it's so on down into central Georgia, around Macon, I think that is, just north of the E&O of Georgia. And then on down, uh, is that Savannah, Georgia, on down there around that part of the country, and, and a few little spots over in South Carolina. A pretty good little storm there just east of Atlanta, Georgia, though. But other than that, the map is clear. And that big red, uh, red pointed thing there you see, that's uh, Jackson, Tennessee, of course. I'll leave it on there for right now. And I'll just let you look at that, even though there's nothing there to look at. <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, let me move, move it on over to uh, the forecast chart for tonight. And you, uh, you look at it while I read you the stats. Alright, that's good enough. That's the forecast chart for tonight as of uh, uh, 3.35 p.m. Okay, and I'll let you look at it. Which is really nothing going on on it much, especially... Around here, I uh, got that high pressure right over Buffalo, Buff, Missouri, I suppose. And that can give us real good. As of 5 p.m., the skies were clear here in North Jackson. The temperature was 77 degrees. Uh, the dew point was 48 degrees. The humidity was 36%. The wind was out of the north at 13 and miles per hour and the barometric pressure was 29.90 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature was a cool but nice 57 degrees. Normal was 56 degrees. Boy, we were real close on that one. Uh, normal high is uh, 79. We had 77 for a high, which is the current reading, so we wasn't too far off of that. Uh, we've had no rainfall today, of course. I'm uh, up to 1.74 for the month of May and 1976 for the year here in North Jackson. Uh, the lowest relative humidity today was 36% at 5 p.m. Highest was 97% at 5 a.m. The lowest barometric pressure was 29.83 inches, and that was at 2 and 3 a.m., while the highest was 29.93 inches, and that was at 11 a.m. through 1 p.m. when that happened. And today's highest wind gust at the Jackson Airport was 27 miles per hour out of the northeast at 11.09 a.m. 
Now the sun will be setting tonight at 7 uh, 52 p.m. and rise tomorrow morning at 5 51 a.m. The moon will be rising this evening at 10 20 p.m. tonight and will set tomorrow morning at 7 59 a.m. Now today's records for May the 13th hottest high would be 93 degrees in 1962. The coolest high be 57 degrees in uh, 1954. And the warmest low would be 72 in 2010. While the coldest low would be 37 degrees and that occurred in 2013. And today's rainfall record would be 2.23 inches and it fell in 1967. And as you can see, like I mentioned from this map, we've got uh, a few more days of nice weather coming up. So there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, most of the rain is southeastern corner of the country with that low pressure there in southern Georgia. And uh, not a whole lot going on in Florida. But there you see the dotted lines indicating where the rain may be. A little bit off the coast, eastern coast. And maybe a little bit up there in the northeast, but not a whole lot. Again, this is the National Weather Service's map, by the way. Uh, the rule looks like a low pressure down in Mexico, creating some rain and thunderstorms down in Mexico, but uh, it's getting leaving Texas alone for the most part, at least as of right now. And out west, there you see some of the... Uh, uh, weather systems out west and uh, rains uh, and thunderstorms that they're creating uh, really is not all that bad of a map, really. Okay, that's the map for tonight. Let's see if I can get this to come around just a little bit. There we go. Now let me go ahead and show you the satellite picture. Which is not a whole lot to see. As you can see, this is AccuWeather's uh, satellite of the whole state of Tennessee. And the whole state of Tennessee and the Mid-South in the clear. As of um, 6.15 Central Daylight Time. Uh, as you can see, there's only out of the cloud in the sky. Not, able, not even in the mountains of East Tennessee. Maybe a little high thin clouds right along the Tennessee North Carolina border and some down there uh, in parts of Georgia and South Carolina and a little cluster there built right around the east side of Atlanta. Remember that thunderstorm that we saw a while ago uh, down there near Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, be careful if you happen to be down there listening as you're traveling in that part of our country. But up here in Tennessee, we're in the clear, and will be for the next few days. Okay. Let me see if I can get that to hold steady, for the time being at least. Mm, let me move this. There we go. That's what I wanted it to do. There we go. I might just leave it on there. And still the radar because there's really nothing on either one. <laughs> then I'll go ahead and read you the forecast and then I'll be done. Okay, uh, for tonight, anyways. Uh, the printed forecast for tonight uh, mostly clear skies for tonight. Like I said, all the way through uh, at least, um, well, really Wednesday. And then we have a chance for rain. Uh, well, not really, but. The, be becoming cloudy by next Thursday. So it's mostly cloudy, clear weather through Wednesday. That's good news. Um, of course, tomorrow morning uh, happens to be Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. And I'd like to wish my mom a happy Mother's Day in heaven. Uh, she's been in heaven since 1995. So she's been up and there for a few years. But uh, I miss her down here. I wish she was here. One day I'll be there with her, and we can celebrate together in heaven um, one of these days. But um, 
Mama, I love you and I miss you. And uh, again, happy Mother's Day to all the other moms out there. Uh, on Mother's Day, it's going to be mostly clear. Low temperature near 51 degrees. A uh, high of 83 with south winds of 5 to 10. Beautiful weather for Mother's Day. And I actually got a picture of her on my um, um, timeline on Facebook. Uh, a picture, an old picture of her though. Uh, the picture is over 20 years old since uh, she's been gone more than 20 years. There's still a good picture of her though. If you'd like to see her or see a picture of her. And, uh, of course, that uh, automatically changed back to you know, my picture around Thursday or Friday of next week. But that's okay. I don't mind letting my mom uh, take my place in that spot for a week. I do it longer than that, in all honesty. But, uh, anyways, but, but uh, happy Mom's Day, Miss Patricia Ann Wilkins Brantley. That's who she is uh, for Mom's Day. Love you, Mom, again. All right, uh, once again, high tomorrow of about uh, 83 degrees with south winds of 5 to 10 on Mama's Day. On Monday, it's going to be mostly clear with a low near 54 and a high of 86 with south winds of 5 to 10. On Tuesday, it's uh, mostly clear with a low near 59 and a high of 88. Ooh, it's getting close to 90 degrees by Tuesday with south winds of 10 to 20. On Wednesday, it's going to be generally um, mostly uh, fair skies, and it looks like. Uh, on even on Wednesday, with uh, a low near uh, say 64, low near 64 and a high of 86, with uh, south winds of 15 to 30. And those days are going to be mostly cloudy, but the rain has been removed from Thursday's forecast. So now it looks like just mostly cloudy skies with a low near 67 and a high of 86 with south winds of 10 to 20. Uh, next Friday the 19th, fair skies continue with a low near 67 and a high of 90 with south winds at 10 to 20. And next weekend looks like it's going to be uh, uh, Saturday. It's going to be oh, fair skies till noon or to sunset weather. Fair skies all day till sunset next Saturday. Then very cloudiness with a 60% uh, chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Low of 68 and a high of 88 next Saturday with south winds of 15 to 25. And next Sunday week, the 21st. It looks like it's going to be uh, uh, fair skies. No, it isn't. Oh, not really. <laughs> uh, make it mostly cloudy or very cloudy at least with a 40% chance for some uh, showers and thunderstorms till noon. Then becoming uh, very cloudy for the remainder of the day with a uh, low near 66 and a high of 81 with south winds of 10 to 20. That takes you through next weekend to kind of give you an idea of what's going to be like and you can adjust your, adjust your plans accordingly. And that's pretty much what I have for you tonight. Again, I hope you have a very pleasant Saturday night, uh, May the uh, 13th, uh, 2017. And I hope you wake up to another beautiful sunny Sunday morning, uh, May the 14th, 2017. And again, Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. And um, I hope to get a chance to talk to you again tomorrow night. And until then, good night, my friends, and may God bless you.